This class is all about creativity. It's time for a creativity project to apply what you've learned so far. In the Create Performance task, or 30% of your AP score, you will design and implement a program that might solve a problem, enables innovation, explores personal interests, or expresses creativity. In this video, we're going to complete our journey of the Create Performance Task Practice 1 Lyrics app. In the previous videos, we went over this final program code template that I've created where you uploaded all of your code to this document and submitted it to your digital portfolio. We also went over how to use Screencast-O-Matic to record your app and also submit that to your digital portfolio. In this video, we will be looking at how to use the written response template, what is required for it, and also how to upload that to, to your AP Computer Science Principles digital portfolio. So let's open this up and download it. So here you go. So again, on the front page, I just have the general requirements. And then here is your written response. I changed this, this comes from the College Board, but I changed it to make it easier. You can actually type directly in it. And there's also places where you have to import code. I've added image uploads for you to make it easier for you. So submit your response to prompts 3A to 3D, which are described below. Your responses to all the prompts combined will not exceed 750 words. Collaboration is not allowed in written responses. Instructions for submitting your responses are in this page. I'm showing you that in this video. So 3A, provide a written response that does the following. Describe the overall purpose of the program. So in our app, again, this is our app that we are using as our example that we built in class, the Lyrics app. We're using data compression. We took pretty much song lyrics um, because a lot of song lyrics repeat. And we use a data compression to compress the same words. And you can see here's all the code that we did previously. But just showing you, we had a procedure, compress lyrics by same words, which we compress the same words. And then we have a get hint button and we decompress the words to kind of have the person guess. And we also have to check the answer when the user guesses to see if it's right. And that's when they click here. So let me just show you the app so you can see it. If you did not watch the previous video, click on new song. Hint, I have added this word in. What song is this? So this has been compressed. It is songs and it has 13 hints. I'm gonna, it added the word in. Let's see what else. Hint. I have added this word I. What song is this? Ooh. I believe this is wobble. Hint. I have added this word there. What song is this? Hint. I have added this word make. What song is this? Yeah, this is Wobble. Hint. I have added this get word in there. Yeah, what yeah, song is this? get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Yeah, this is Wobble. I know you all wouldn't know that, but I know it because we built the app. Um, a normal person wouldn't know that, but these are just the songs that we um, added into this lyrics app. But we could add more. We could just get the song name and get the lyrics that repeat and put anything in here. And our algorithm would actually encode it with all the words that are same. So I know it's wobble. I believe it's wobble. Hopefully I'm guessing right. Guess. You win. The song is wobble. So then you can see it shows the video. And I can Hint. put. I have added this word down. What song is this? And just to show you again, I know down, down, that's, they gave me a good hint. Do your dance by yourself. This is keep it shuffle. Uh, I guess. You win. The song is Cupid Shuffle. Do your dance. See at the bottom down, down, do your dance, do your dance. Down, down, do your dance. 
To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. So that's our app, but we have to answer these questions about this. So describe the overall purpose of the program. Again, in your own words, what would you, how would you describe this app? Or on the real co-create task, how would you describe the app that you make? Describe what the functionality of the program is demonstrated in the video. So what did we actually show in this video? We started on the homepage, which was- Can you guess the song name from there, the lyrics? Hint. I have added this word you. What song is this? So we started here on the home page. We clicked. Can you guess the song name from their lyrics? Then we came here. I have added this word take. What song is this? So again, in this box, how would you describe what you showed in the video that we recorded? I showed you how to record the video in the previous. The video can be no longer than a minute. But whatever you record that you submit, you have to describe in this box what that is. Okay, describe the input and output of the program demonstrated in this video. So again, what did we do in this? What did I show in this? So in your own words. Now, let's just give you some kind of hints on this. So describe the overall purpose of the program. Whenever they ask you something, you want to give it back to them. So I'm going to say the overall purpose of my app is dot 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 and then you're going to fill that in so again this part you will pull in yourself describe what functionality of the program is demonstrated so so again give them back what they ask you for and then simply answer it in my video i show my app functionality that is dot 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 fill in what you showed in your recorded one minute video. Describe the input and output of the program demonstrated in this video. So again, give them back what they ask you. In my video, the input I showed was dot, 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 fill in input like user touches that caused a change. Also in my video, here I'll say the output in my video was dot dot dot, fill in the output shown like things that occurred after input. And that's pretty much what you're gonna do for this section. So let's go on down. 3B, capture and paste two program code segments you developed during the administration of this task that contain a list being used to manage complexity in your program. So we need to go back to our code, contains a list or a collection. The first program segment must show how data has been stored in a list. So again, here I'm showing you, it could be a list or it can be a collection, which is hash tables, dictionaries, and sets. In ours, this is a hash table or a dictionary. So I could use any one of these. Actually, let's use both of them. So on a Windows, you would use your snipping tool, do a search for the snipping tool. On a Mac, you're gonna do your keyboard command shift five. So I need to grab this piece of code here. So song and video links or song and lyrics. I'm just going to do song and video links. I wanna see how both of them look. I could use both, let's see. So I'm gonna go back here. Since I modified this document, you can click on this and simply upload it and select that. Click OK. And you can see there I have two dictionaries or I can click it again if I only wanted the first one and I can show that. So the first code segment is going to depend on the second. The second program code segment must show the data and the same list being used, such as creating new data from existing data or accessing multiple elements in the list as part of fulfilling the program's purpose. So 
we're looking at song video and links and song and lyrics. Our, our main purpose is to guess the song. So we could use the app, the codes that we made for compress or decompress. And you can see here, we're using actually both. In check answer, right? I'm using song and lyrics, which is my dictionary. And I'm using song and video links. Now, again, must create new data existing data or accessing multiple elements in the list. Now I can't use this because I'm not accessing multiple elements in that same list, even though I'm calling it. So what I could use, so I'm actually going to use update song and here's why. If you look at it, remember our requirements such as creating new data from the existing data. So if you look here, song name, pick a random item from the keys of song and lyrics. Again, song and lyrics is right here. I'm making new data. I'm picking a random item from the keys. The keys are simply these. So first I'm making a list of just the keys and then I'm picking a new thing. So that fulfills it right here, song name. But let's look at the other approach of that. Or accessing multiple elements in the list as part of fulfilling the program's main purpose. So update song is a part of the program's main purpose. You can continue to play. Um, and update song actually compresses the lyrics for us for you to be able to actually play the game. So how can we access multiple parts in the, in the data? Well, number one, right now we're accessing it, getting that list and getting the keys. That's once. And then here, lyrics is equal to update, get value for key. So I'm using the key from the random values and now I'm getting the result, which is the lyrics that go along with it. So this is the perfect one to use. So really what I want, I just want song and lyrics really. And I'm gonna replace that on my first. And I just want update song. And again, it's great to have comments. So in my form, so in my form, let's update this I want that to be song and lyrics, and I just showed you the reason why, and I want this to be my update song. Can they see that? I'm actually gonna do that since it's a longer thing. I'm gonna make it longer, so, and it'll look better. And there you go. So again, this is our collection type. This is the code that, again, the second program code must show the data in the same list being used, such as creating new data, which we're doing here. It says or, but we're doing both, and accessing multiple elements as in the list as a part of fulfilling the program's purpose. So again, that's what we have. Now identify the name of the list being here. And again, give them back what you want. The name of my collection or my dictionary, hash map hash set is, and for ours is song and lyrics. Describe what data contained in the list represents in your program. Again, song and lyrics represents dot, dot, dot. Describe what your list slash set holds. Explain how selected list manages complexity in your program code by explaining why your program could not be written or how it would be written differently if you did not use this list. So again, in this part, song and lyrics is crucial for my program complexity without song and lyrics, dot, dot, dot. So without song lyrics, dot, 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 dot. So that's one way you could do it without song and lyrics, dot, dot, dot. And then you're just going to describe how your app wouldn't work without, without it. Another way it says, or, so you don't have to do both, but you could say, if I didn't have song or how you would have to rewrite the code since it doesn't exist. So that's what you're doing in that section there. All right, let's go down. 3C, capture and paste two program code segments you develop during the administration of the test that contain a student developed procedure that implements an algorithm used in a program and a call to that procedure. 
The first program code segment must be a student developed procedure that defines the procedure's name and return type if necessary, contains and uses one or more parameters that have an effect on the functionality of the procedure, and implements an algorithm that includes sequencing, selection, and iteration. So it has to have a bunch of steps. Selection, selection is like an if statement. In iteration, it could be multiple things. So we need to find code, and again, these are procedures that we've made. When it says a student develop procedure, that's what you're looking for. You want to select one of these blocks, all of these that we've made. Since I have selection, I'm going to use this one here, check answer that we made. So I'm going to just pull it out some so it's by itself. Use my con command shift five and grab this. And part two said where it's called from. Here we go. So let's call from here. We can make this a little bit more complex. Let's just add an if statement in here. And you can see that's the song name. I'm just gonna say text is empty, duplicate. I'm gonna say if the text box is empty. So the text box is this. Right now, if we check the answer no matter what, so if it's empty, it'll check it. But if it's empty, it'll be wrong anyway. But let's just add, so this looks a little bit more complex. I'm just gonna add in my text-to-speech and do speak and fill in my text and say, please enter a song name guess. So if the text box is empty, we're gonna say, please enter a song name else. Now I didn't have to do that. I could have submitted the code, but we're doing a check and I'm just gonna grab this now. And since I changed it, let me just show you what that does. So if I press guess. Please enter the song name guess. Please enter the song name guess. Now what I had before was this. Incorrect. It would still say incorrect, right? So I could have just done this, but just to show you, doesn't make sense to check something that's blank, so we're just doing it that way. Hint. I have added this word wrong. What song is this? I think this, because I know it is Purple Rain. Hint. It's hint. Here. I have added the hint. Yeah. I have added this word purple. What song is this? You win. The song is Purple Rain. Alright, so we have our stuff. You can see the, the app works and let's upload our stuff. So first program code should be a student developed thing, defines the procedure name and return type, contains one, one or more parameters that have an effect on the functionality of the program. Yes, we have that. Implements an algorithm includes. Okay, so let's grab that. Click OK, there we go. And grab this. Second program code must show where your student developed procedure is being called from. And you can see there I have it. So there you go. All right. Now they have those two code segments in. And again, using my template, you can simply click on this and upload your stuff directly into it. Then reply to where response it does both of the following. Describe in general what the identified procedure does and how it contributes to the overall functionality of the program. So in here, my procedure check answer dot 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 describe what it does and how it affects your program. Pretty straightforward. Explain in detail steps how the algorithm implemented in the identified procedure works. Your explanation must be detailed enough for someone to recreate it. My procedure, check answer, dot, dot, dot. So for this part, this is why commenting really helps you. Let's just look at that procedure that we just used, right? Check answer. Look at this. 
This is exactly what you want to give them in this answer. Here's an overview of what it is. Checks if the, if the user guessed the correct song name. How to recreate it? Okay, if the guess is correct. Get lyrics from song name and lyrics. So again, it's great to comment at your code and this right here is what you're looking for in that answer. So you would take that if you comment at your code. In our practice, you've already done that and that's what you're filling in here. Describe what it does, we already did that. It's right there in the comments and how to recreate it. We have all the steps to create it. That's what you're putting in that section. All right, last page. Provide a word response that does all three of the following. Describe two calls to the procedure identified in the response, 3C. So two calls to the procedure in this section. So we're calling this. Each call must pass a different argument that causes a different segment of code in the algorithm to execute. The first call is here, the second call is here. I put two pictures here, so you, since Alpha Inventor is a block-based language, you can kind of help yourself by adding in a picture. So if we wanted to call two calls to this, right? I can do song name text box, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna move this for now and I want to show them two different calls. So let's just type in a song, Purple Rain. This might be one call, so I can snatch that. And let's call it Old Town Road. So I'm just grabbing that for this instance. I don't have to put in the picture, but it kind of helps you. So I'm gonna put that here. So there is one with Purple Rain, and there is one with Old Town Road. So here you're gonna have in the first call to my procedure check answer, I pass the input Purple Rain. The current song, song name to guess is Old Town Road and saved in a variable. And then I do the same. In the second call to my procedure, check answer, I pass the input Old Town Road. The current song name to guess is Old Town Road and saved in a variable. Describe what condition is being tested by each call to the procedure. So again, the condition purple rain in my first call tested by dot dot dot. Describe how so again the condition purple rain is my first call is being tested by describe how it goes through your procedure and what happens. So what does that mean? So when I come back over here to this, you're pretty much gonna describe, if I pass Purple Rain into here, my song name is Old Town Road, right? So user guess gets passed in as Purple Rain you're gonna pretty much describe to me what happens in this code. Is user guess, so let me just, so user guess, just to show you, first input. So user guess is purple rain. You're describing to me what this code is doing when user guess is equal to purple rain. That's what you wanna put there. And then the second input was, Old Town Road. You're describing to me what this code would do if you passed in Old Town Road as you your guest and how it is evaluated here. So that's what you're looking for for this part and this part. And this is gonna be Old, Old Town Road. Identify the result of each call. Was there the first call or was there the second call? So the result of Purple Rain as input to check answer with song name Old Town Road would be dot 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 answer in your own words. Again, what happens 
when you go through this. Now the result of my second input was Old Town Road. And again, you will describe that. So this has been how to complete your written response. Now, obviously you would need to save that and I'm gonna save it here. And I'm just gonna say example at the beginning. Now we need to come over to our digital portfolio, click on the written response. And here you can see, this is where we're gonna upload it. Again, you're gonna click on view details, file upload and submission, upload that. You will have a upload button here and you're simply gonna upload that. Let's go back to overview. So again, this has been how to complete your AP Create AP Computer Science Principles Create Performance Task. You will have a minimum of 12 class hours to complete this. Again, the final program code, I showed you that in the previous video. A video of your app working, I showed you that in my previous video. And this video showed you how to complete the real responses with some strategies to help you and complete that as well.